onto that condition myself. I suffered from depression from you know a number of years. The confluence was just a big thing with me. I'd heard a few people had been to him and got amazing results, so then I thought, well, the wedding was coming up and I wanted the same. When I first started, I was in no shape whatsoever. I had no motivation. I hadn't done any sort of training before. wasn't really as strong mentally or physically. I had body weight issues, like body confidence, you know. It was nice to look at. Went into the programme with maybe some body fat to lose, but even losing weight wasn't even my number one intention, it was it was strength. Whenever I started, I was over 15 stone, 15 four. I split up with a girlfriend then and just went mad on the drink. I knew I had to do something. I have a, a young daughter and I thought, well, you're not getting any younger. I better see if I can get myself into a better shape. So I'm healthy and I can be about her and have the energy to enjoy what you want to do with her and so on. The food part of it wasn't anything tricky. I found it very simple and straightforward. I had done cardio for years and my body shape was just the same. And when I'd done this then, my, it just changed. Even just week in, week out, you know, you could see like a change every single week and the transformation was absolutely brilliant. I've been light before, but I've never had seen definition. I've never been in this good a shape ever. Like, I've never seen my abs before from school. Chest and shoulders, waist to be away in, and six packs will do more. With my photograph. <laughs> I nearly fell. <laughs> so that's not me. I would never ever have believed it have done it. I've always been somebody that's into exercise and fitness. After the Amazing 12 program, I was able to achieve changes that I'd never been able to do before. I was in the shape of my life. Whenever I finished it, I was just running rings around everybody else, to be honest. And because the program was tried and tested, they just had so much information about what worked and it worked for me. Before this I wasn't able to run far, I wasn't able to do anything. Now I can go out for a run, I can pace myself physically all around, like I feel a whole lot healthier and fitter. At the start I had thought, oh I can't lift weights, I was afraid to, but you keep just getting stronger and achieving what you maybe thought you couldn't achieve. I was told by a physio one time that I shouldn't or couldn't do deadlifting or squatting. The deadlifting uh, nearly travelled. Deadlifting would have been something like 80 kilos and I could never get past it. By the time the 12 weeks was over, 140, I never would have imagined that I would have been able to do something like that. Deadlift, I did 190 for three singles. When I started, I think it was 150. Squatting, there was two sets of 15 at 92 and a half. When I started, it was 70. Deadlift before the programme, um, I probably could have lifted about 60 kilos. Uh, for about 10 or 12 reps and sets, whereas at the end of the programme I was able to lift 112 and a half kilos for a number of reps and that was after actually building up to that weight as well. Pull-ups, I could never do one unassisted before the programme, but by the time it was finished I was maybe able to do about 18 or 20 of them in a row, so that was a huge, I mean that was something that was probably one of my aims for the programme was to be able to even just do one. I would never ever ever have entertained that I would have been able to do squatting on around 100 kilograms 30 times in the trot. But we're deadlifting that day, two and a quarter times my body weight at the time. On the bench it was 40, it's up to reps at 65 now. Deadlifting started at 90, it's up to 135 now. Mullity press and stuff. 20 kg, it was up now to 47.5, you know, and good reps as well. I would always have run and done things beforehand, but whenever I was finished, the difference in my running ability, I mean, I was able to just go out and run five or six miles much more quickly than I'd ever run it before the programme, even though I wasn't running those sorts of distances while I was doing the programme. The benefits of your training impacted throughout every type of exercise that I did afterwards. Something that's laid out to us at the start as A12 coaches that going to failure or beyond failure to the point where your body can't go any further too soon, the response your body gives you is shut down. That is your wall. You cannot achieve anything greater than that. But by going close to it and giving it a wee touch of it and coming back a wee step and going forward further, it just means that your body can continue to make consistent, constant progress over 12 weeks. Whereas most of the time it's right, let's push this person to the limit to get them short-term gains, short-term increases in strength, but quickly you'll be at your limit, whereas this isn't that case. They can't believe how comfortable they actually feel while still getting these gains, whereas in the other cases, more often than not, people feel crushed. Whenever you've seen yourself achieving, even little weights, differences every day, that just made you feel so much better that you're actually achieving something. When you've seen the changes in your body as well, it made you feel good, give you more confidence. I just felt mentally so much better at the end of the 
12 weeks. I definitely feel more confident now. I've got the results that I wanted in six weeks, so I've just sort of tried to keep myself in shape because I just feel fitter and healthier. I feel better. I feel, you know, just happier. People have said to me that I have more confidence. You look happier. There's more energy about me and stuff like that. Before that, I was always tired and didn't want to do this, didn't want to do that, but now I'm out there. I want to go there, I want to do this. It's made me a better person at the end of the day. And just in terms of my whole self-esteem around my fitness and my body shape, um, I was really, really confident about it. My body fat was down about 10%, so I pushed it below 20, and that had always been a struggle for me. So I was really, really pleased with that. Some people would have thought I was a confident person anyway, but you know, everybody has their own demons or their own fears. After that, I had more confidence in myself. I just found myself a better individual, better relationships with um, people around me, better working relationships with staff at my work, etc. just because uh, I just had a wee bit more calmness than that about me. I just felt much, much better, still do. I feel great mentally, everything like, back to who I was. Before this, I had no confidence in myself. And now, like I have all confidence in myself, you know what I mean? It can only be for those people going out into their lives and their worlds that that can radiate out to others around them, whether it be friends that they spend time with and see their changes. It just has that ripple effect to people around them. You just keep saying, but what if? Or I can't do this, or what if I fail? But that's only in your head. If you think about doing it and think about doing it, you'll never do it. You just need to get into your head and just go and do it. Definitely go for it. You want a challenge? It'll have you in the ship that you want to be on, that's for sure. And you have a new mindset, you have better motivation, you know, surprise yourself. You're capable of way, way, way more than you believe. It's for anyone. You just have to have the mindset that you want to commit to it.